the careers at Northwest College. Get on the right path for you. Call Northwest College today or go online to trustnw.com right now and train for a career you'll love. I was injured in a car crash. I had no idea how much my case was worth. I called the Barnes firm. When a truck hit my son, I had so many questions about his case. I the best result possible. The Barnes firm. Injury attorneys call one 800 Joining us live, Caesar Milan talks about season three of Better Human, Better Dog. More gadgets, trends, and innovations in TechSmart. Tomorrow, it's fun. <laughs> it's unpredictable. It's music to my ears. It's LA Unscripted. Weeknights at 7, only on KTLA, LA's very own. Now at five, torrential rain and strong winds pummel Southern California overnight, flooding roads and triggering fears of damaging mudslides. Good evening, you're watching the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. The storm has loosened its grip on the Southland, but many are still feeling its impact. Downpours turned roads into muddy rivers and in intersections into lakes. Luckily, it appears that Southern California escaped without any major damage, but are we out of the woods just yet? We have live team coverage of the rain, the aftermath, and what's to come. So let's begin with meteorologist Vera Jimenez with a look at where the storm is now. Well, as you can see, it's uh, definitely moving through Southern California. We are looking at scattered showers now and even some snow along the foothills and the mountains. Surprisingly enough, we did see those snow levels, thank goodness, drop to about 5,000 feet. So as you can see, we're still getting a little bit of snow here and there. We're still also seeing a few lingering showers as we make our way through the evening. The temperatures are going to get cool. The winds are still going to be an issue. And of course, the surf along the coast is going to be dangerous at least through tomorrow. In fact, the last of those surf advisories will expire tomorrow late afternoon, early evening. As we zoom in, here's what you can expect. Impacts along the I-5 heading out towards Fillmore, the 126. Still getting a few uh, isolated showers here and there. Our mountain communities are also getting some much needed snow, which is exactly what we need. Although the San Bernardino Mountains are seeing higher snow levels. Their snow levels compared to LA and Ventura County Mountains stayed at about 6,000, 6,500 feet compared to uh, Ventura in LA, which dropped to about 5,000 feet. So some nice accumulations there. We still have a couple of winter weather advisories. In effect, the last of them will expire later tonight at about 10 p.m. And that will be for LA and Ventura. And as we look a little further to the south, 215 still getting a little uh, sprinkle here and there, as well as the 60 making its way out of Chino Hills or towards Riverside. And that's uh, a look at what we have going on. We've got more wet weather heading our way, so we'll talk about those details coming up shortly. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. A dramatic rescue, rescue in Ventura County. A swift water rescue team saved the man trapped by rising floodwaters. It happened this morning near Highway 33, just south of Stanley Avenue. Responding crews found a man hanging onto some reeds at the river bottom that had become flooded. A helicopter was called in and a rescuer was hoisted down as he was able to secure and harness onto the victim. They were both lifted to drier land. The victim was able to walk away from the scene and is reported to be in good condition. And drenching rains caused part of this hillside to give way along Mulholland Drive. This video from Sky 5 shows the Department of Transportation crews working to repair the roadway. Mulholland is closed between Beaumont Drive and Summit Circle. You're asked to avoid the area. The rain is wreaking havoc on the roads. Sky 5 over this scene in Castaic earlier today. A mud flow at the intersection of Hasley Canyon and Del Valle roads is making it difficult for residents to pass. The road remains open, but drivers are urged to use caution. And over in Santa Clarita, a similar scene. Several roads off Sand Canyon have been flooded. This is Roadrunner Road just south of the Santa Clarita River, where rushing water and mud flows have closed off the street. 
streets. Authorities are pleading with drivers not to cross running water and return to safe streets. And in the San Fernando Valley, the storm flooded several intersections after storm drains were overwhelmed. Residents say they witnessed several near misses while other drivers weren't so lucky. Many fender benders were reported across the city. Let's turn our attention to the Inland Empire, where residents dealt with strong winds and rain overnight. The foothills were hit particularly hard in San Bernardino County. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live from Oak Glen with more on conditions there. Shelby. Chair Pedro, we have seen it all out here in the Inland Empire. The rain, the snow, particularly where we are here in Oak Glen. It was raining earlier and then it turned to hail this afternoon. Luckily, it's dry right now, but it does feel like the temperatures have dropped because it is freezing. But take a look where we are. You can see a lot of that rainwater and the mud coming down right here. Now, surprisingly, this is not as bad as it can get, which is a good thing because you've got the nearby El Dorado fire burn scar, which usually causes is to wind to snow. Big Bear receiving about an inch of it in areas of higher elevation near 7,000 feet.